2.40 a.m. and I don't want to get up. But, this is part of the game. And I'll share what I do in preparation. Good morning. So you can see, this is my bag with all my drones. I brought the Mavic 3, the Air 3, and the Mini 3. And my camera bag loaded already with my equipment. I have the Fuji H1, XH1, XS10, 1024, 70-300 with the 1.4 adapter. And what else do I have over there? Oh, 35 mil. And then inside here is all my different uh, cameras, meaning video devices, microphones. Inside here is my laptop bag. With my, uh, what is it? Oh, my Apple Mac, Mac, MacBook Air, 16 gig, and then my power stuff. You can see my travel coffee. I travel enough where I bring coffee while I'm on the road. And this is my travel cup. Like so. It has a top. And a straw if I need it. So it's 4.45 a.m. Oh, it's early. And I just left Gumi and I'm on my way to Polhong. Pohong is famous for a lot of different things, but the biggest thing from a photographic perspective is they have a large hand coming out of the About water. About 600 meters ahead, there is a traffic enforcement camera of red light offenses and 60 kilometers per hour. That's my GPS talking to me. Um, I've been to Pohong a few times, but I've never actually saw the hand, nor have I captured the hand. So that's the intent today. Um, I brought my cameras. I'm going to be shooting with my Fuji X-H1. Um, and I brought my drones, but I'm not sure if I'm going to fly the drone or not. I have to look at the ground and see what the area looks like, if there's wires or anything like that. If it's unsafe, of course, I'm not going to fly. About 600 meters ahead in Songhak Gyocharo, take the right lane towards Daegu. GPS works really well here. Um, I use either Waze which is worldwide, or I use the Korean version, which is called Naver. Today I'm using Naver. So I'm about to get on the highway here. And the big thing is all the highways, all the major highways, um, they use tolls. Um, I don't necessarily like the tolls, but I've been lucky that I have what they call high pass. High pass allows me not to have to stop. And I have a device, and if you listen, you'll hear her talk. So it just told me that I have about 60,000 won of money on my card still. So that's the only pain in the butt is I have to go to the store once in a while and load um, the money on it. If I had a bank, a Korean bank account, I probably could get away with that and not have to do that. But it's not worth it for all the other paperwork that I have to do every year because of the Korean bank account. It just doesn't make sense to do it. So anyways, sharing the moment. In one of the long tunnels, Korea has a lot of hills, mountains, and a lot of tunnels. It's probably the biggest thing. And I've never been down this way, the way I'm going right now, so I have no clue, so this will be fun. Maybe a couple kilometers, a couple miles away. Uh, never been out this way, pretty cool. And of course, it's still morning time here. Everybody's driving a little crazy. So, I'll turn you back to Olive. So I'm walking down to the large hand. There's actually two hands here. One that's out of the water and one that's in the water. I'll be able to get the shot that I wanted. 
but I didn't realize about the tide. So it's not going to be as cool as what I wanted, but it won't be bad. Fairly chilly out this morning. I got a hat on. And of course, I got my down jacket on. There's also a lighthouse museum, if you can see right there. The lighthouse. Pretty cool. Not a bad way to start the day. So that's the big first hand. And now I'll show you the walk the hand in the water. little concerned like I thought it's not high tide it's like I think it's in the process of going moving towards low tide but it's okay I got what I want or I'm here where I didn't want to shoot funny people are lined up already as hell, my fingers are numb, but I had a great morning. And I think my happy spot is the beach or the ocean. I really enjoyed being out here. Now it's time to find some hot coffee and some warm food because I'm hungry.